In this video, we're going to walk through the solution to an example problem related to crystal field splitting energy. Um, so we're looking at a solution of iron cyanide, um, and it looks really red. Um, it's got a, a maximum uh, wavelength that's being absorbed at 525 nanometers. And, and this looks really different than our previous example of titanium that was much more of a violet, but it was still around 500 and then had another peak at 560. And so this one might also have some side peaks as well. Um, but we're just going to focus on the one that's the tallest, that absorbs the most um, of a certain wavelength. Um, so we have our lambda, our, our, our wavelength uh, for our light, and we're going to use this equation that that energy of a photon, which we're, is really going to be equal to that crystal field splitting energy, um, is equal to Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the wavelength. And so that crystal field splitting energy for this iron cyanide complex will be equal to that Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules seconds times the speed of light, 3.00 times 10 to the eighth, and that's meters per second, um, all divided by that wavelength, which is that 525 nanometers. I'm gonna do a metric conversion down here on the denominator as well, so that way my uh, length measurements are in the same units. So I'm gonna convert nanometers to meters. Um, so I'm gonna multiply this by one meter and divide by 10 to the ninth nanometers. Each meter will have 10 to the ninth nanometers in it. And so that should give me units of meters on my denominator and leave me then with just units of joules at the end of my calculation. Um, and so after I set this up and recognize that, it's really just plugging into my calculator. Um, and when I do that, I get an answer that is uh, 3.79 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And so that's gonna correspond to our energy. Uh, for the, the difference between our two D energy levels in this octahedral complex.